D2. It's YouTube or what is it? It's YouTube. Uh, I kinda figured it won't work too, because I know I'm just gonna let Instagram The Wi-Fi is bad. Oh, it says we're live. Huh? It says we're live. You need to. I am so sleepy. This blow call is gonna drive me insane. Hmm? The Velcro on this couch. Hey, girl. Hey, Rachel. Ooh, the lighting right here is horrible. We don't have to move furniture. Man, so you won't went live. You were supposed to do all this before you hopped on. <laughs> we already late. Waiting on you, as usual. <laughs> Hi, Joanna. I'm getting this is not gonna be a good one because it's keep it keeps saying very bad connection. Dang, the questions are coming in already. Eric, how do you deal with hate? Hate? Uh huh. Hey, you guys are out why y'all 40 minutes late been waiting 40 minutes it's all eric's fault i was ready but he had to he's in the bathroom now getting all pretty he's a pretty boy <laughs> he had to shower cut his hair like y'all gonna see him through the video <laughs> smell him through the video sorry now he greasing his hair up because they want to know why we 40 minutes late they calling us out <laughs> Thank you, Aisha. Not everybody is going to agree with you or be pleased. No, you tell them. They can't hear me? Right, I'm still waiting on E, exactly. He said we got to get off him, but if he would be on time, I would be able to get off him, right? You came in here trying to just jump straight on the joint, like... Because we 40 minutes late. We said 10 o'clock. Tell them I'm putting the shirt on and I'll be there in a the moment. <laughs> Some of the ladies might actually want to see you with your shirt off. I hope, can y'all tell me, because I'm getting the notification that the connection is bad. So, what is it like over there? Some Aisha was saying something about you being forty minutes late. Are you to tea time? Are you late to practice too? Yeah, they said the Wi Fi is bad. So for us to even be talking to you, just <laughs> just know that we're like doing some. Um, so they need to appreciate. Yeah, you need to appreciate the, what we're doing because the Wi Fi is gonna be janky because. Um, China has like a sensor on websites that you can actually use. So we're kind of finessing the system. We're technically not supposed to be on YouTube, we but to to yeah, we could go to jail. No, to we can't go to jail. To be, so they could punish us somehow. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> it's freezing up. All right. Well, this one won't be as long as the one. Um, is that my usual breakfast? It's 10 o'clock at night over here. So I've had dinner. Um, Who said? Man, you just said we're in China. Who asked that question? Somebody. Um, oh, let me holler up there. Shut up. Be nice. Hi, J Janae from Jamaica. Hi. Okay, Eric is, is here to join us what now. Is this now? <laughs> What's the, this is uh, this is YouTube. This is YouTube Live. Hmm. What do you want to say to the people? This time I'm not worried. She said last time she was late. Oh, I apologize for being delayed. 
Yes, connection is terrible. See? Well, what do you want me to do? Yes, I mean, it's going to be difficult. To <laughs> right, it's going to be hard, so. but... Tell them you just had a... You don't have to postpone this, bro. Oh, you trying to finesse the people. Who? Eric is trying to postpone it. I'm just saying. You don't want to have no janky promotion state situation going on. I mean, it'll be fine, people. Oh, yeah, that's totally, um... Somebody asked a question and they're waiting for you to come answer the question. How do you how do you deal with how hate? How do you deal with hate? What's up, Grenada? Oh. <laughs> I can't deal. This dude just It's red. What does that mean? Very bad connection. It's fine. Answer the question. Stop People complaining are saying... about the connection, shake my head. See? Damn, He's trying bro. to get out of it. He doesn't want to be here. <laughs> so I mean... somebody asked, the connection is fine, no freezing. So maybe it's just on our end. Okay, how do you... Uh, how Somebody do you asked hate? earlier, how do you deal with hate? How do you deal with hate? Do you clap back? No. Elephants don't swap flies. Like, so, you can't allow yourself to be affected by something so small. For real. Like, hate. Like, you can't allow yourself to be affected by stuff like that. You know, you got to be greater than that, bigger than that. So, essentially, they trying to be a nuisance in your life by hating on you. And they trying to derail whatever you had going on. So, if you allow yourself to be affected by that, you just... Adding fuel to the fire, basically. You know I mean? Elephants don't swap flies, though? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so much fun. Um, Yeah, so I should tell you guys that Eric is fake deep, or what I like to call fake oh, deep. Okay. He has a saying for everything. You just hate it. Um... Zeke wants to know, or Zen oh, yeah, wants yeah. to know, why do you want spectators to clap before you jump? Um, honestly, it's just rhythmic. So if a spectator claps before I jump, um, it just kind of gets me excited and it kind of gets your heart rate up a little bit, you know, and allows you to um, kind of get in the zone. And it's really a distraction from the outside noise, essentially, because everything else around you is drowned out by the clap. So. It just allows you to kind of focus a little more, zone mm-hmm. in, and stay out of your own head. High jump is a very mentally defeating uh, event. It's one of the only events on the track that in the pole vault where you always lose. Um, failure is when the event is over. When the person, whoever fails the latest, is the victor. But failure is, failure you know, is, is guaranteed. Count. So, wow. you know, it's just it's how it is. You know, you never thought about that. I never thought about that. But you touched on something that was interesting because um, in my previous video. I talked about how I mentally prepare for a race. Uh-huh. And one of the things that I talked about was positive distractions. She looked forward to eat quote so, <laughs> so he has some good ones. I'm not even going to hate. Like he gets on my nerves, but his quotes are, they make sense. But um, one of the things that I talked about was positive distractions. And that I believe that it's possible to over focus. Because you put so much energy into you. You can spend so much mental energy that you actually take away from how you can physically perform because you're just overly focused. So when you said that the clapping kind of drowns out the outside noise, right? That it made me think about that. I mean, it is a such thing as you know, overly focusing. And if you don't believe it, get a blank piece of paper and get a permanent marker and draw a dot and stare at it for as long as you can. Take your eyes off of it. You have some issues. You know what I mean? Focus in too much. Any anything, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious though. <laughs> I know you're serious. Okay, what are the people saying? Um, are you the only track and field athlete to be sponsored by Jordan? No. Male, yes. Oh, you're the only male? Yeah. Well, he mm-hmm. asked track and field athlete. So tell him mm-hmm. some of the other athletes. Um, Corey Carter, Mandy White, and that's it. And myself. And track and field. Yeah. Um, oh, 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 you're about to blow it. No, I'm not. Shut up. Um, yes, we do have a meet this week. Um, Janae, we are in China, Shanghai. Shanghai. We have the Diamond League meet tomorrow night. So it is actually almost 11 p.m. in um, Shanghai. So we're staying. We, I'm not going to flex and say we're staying up late. We stay up this late every night. Um, there was another question. about What about lies? Let me see. When someone tells me. What else? 
messed up, huh? It's reconnecting. You tagging something? Yeah, the tweet. Oh, Instagram. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, she said just waiting for him. Yeah. Alright, it's connected back. So, that tweet had. I have a question now for you. Me? Yeah. So I just went on Twitter. I was trying to check the connection. I hope can you guys I hope you guys hear me. It says we're live. But um we're some about <laughs> what that dance was. Someone just tweeted me and said something like, um, I need to clean up the false hair and accept what God gave me and whatever, whatever. Again, why you feel like you need to impose your opinion on me? I'm gonna do my hair the way I wanna do my hair, do my makeup the way I wanna do my makeup, dress the way I wanna dress. But with that being said, the question I have for you, E, is that I feel like a lot of times we hear men say, why you wear all that makeup? Why you wear all that weave? Yada, yada, yada. Have you ever dated a girl who does not wear makeup or weave? Have I? You know, I don't have much experience dating. Um, let me come back and let y'all. Nah, I don't think I, no, I've never dated a girl who didn't wear makeup or weave. So... My question is this. If y'all gonna complain about it... You say y'all. Now, you projecting that shit <laughs> on me now. I feel a lot of heat coming from over there. But if men are gonna complain about it, but those are the women that you choose... Who chooses them? I don't understand what your problem is. I Furthermore, I'm not doing it for you. Men are horrible communicators a lot of times, so... um, A lot of times men talk when they should listen. And... Or look and observe, Facts. you know, so, like, I remember when I was younger, it was a big deal, like, when my mom got her hair done or something, so I would always, like, notice, you know what yeah. I mean, because I realized it was important to her. Uh, sometimes you have to just keep your opinion to yourself. I think as a man, what they're trying to say is that it's not, they don't want to see it all the time, or sometimes they want to just wake up to you or see you, who you are, because they want you to know that they're going to accept you, however, you know, but if they never get an opportunity to be introduced to that natural you, then... They feel like they dating the rest of the excuse me, dating the best representation of it. And they need to know what rock bottom look like sometimes, you know what I mean? That's all. But I can't speak for them, you know. It's we live in a snapshot snapshot like age, like everything's on the internet, it's like, you know, highlights. Everybody's showing the highlight of their life, you know, don't nobody show the you real. know the struggle or the or the process. So, um it, it's a lot of things are a facade and I think sometimes some